welcome back. It's no secret that Godot 4 is coming with a new signed distance field global illumination real-time lighting solution, or SDFGI. It automatically works by generating global illumination for static objects. It does not require ray tracing, and it runs on most current dedicated GPUs. Some people have been asking how Godot 4's SDFGI compares to Unreal Engine 5's Lumen system, and the lead developer of Godot took some time to respond. The Unreal Engine Lumen system requires a high-end GPU, but achieves a high-quality, mostly leak-free effect. Some caveats, complex objects will need to be manually split in parts, which can get quite laborious for smaller teams. It won't work with procedural geometry, and it seems to result in poor reflection quality. In comparison, Godot 4's SDFGI has reasonable quality, but will work on older GPUs. And as with many Godot features, it just works. Thin walls can leak light, but it does support procedural geometry and reflections look great. Marcus Wolfram made this garage scene to show off some of Godot 4's new graphical capabilities. The Game Maker's Toolkit Game Jam has ended, and here is the breakdown of the game engines used. Doe is here in yellow at 13.1%. That's up from 12.2% last year. By this metric, Godot is growing, albeit slowly. I'm really curious to see where Godot will rank next year after the 4.0 release. A new proposal has been published to the Godot GitHub to redesign how the user interface or control nodes are presented to the user. The current control nodes use three different systems to affect how your GUIs are sized and laid out. Each of these systems serve a different purpose and use case and make Godot very capable for a variety of UI needs. But you are only meant to choose and use one system, as settings in one of them will override the others. And so the intention is not to alter functionality, but instead change how these settings are presented to the developer in the Godot inspector. Some proposed changes include collapsing slash hiding the systems that are not being used by the parent node. If you start editing a control node with the container system, for example, then its child nodes will only show the container system The Godot Wild Jam number 34 has started. You have less than a week to make and submit a game. This jam's theme is space. The wild cars are what's up doc, add some carrots in your game, game time, players real world time affect something in the game world, no place like home, include a home slash hub area, submissions close on June 20th. Godot Swift provides bindings and a Swift package manager powered build system for creating Godot native libraries from Swift frameworks. Godot Swift exposes GDScript APIs in terms of Swift protocols and generics, allowing for seamless Swift to Godot interoperability. There is now a neuroevolution of fixed topology library for Godot. If you want to learn about neuroevolution, the author recommends The Nature of Code by Daniel Schiffman, specifically chapters 9 and 10. GOP is a package manager for Godot that you use through the command line. Phonemo Station is a simple but elegant launcher of emulators and PC games. Union Bytes has shown an update to UB Painter. New features include normal and ambient occlusion baking, UV editing and corrections, multi-threading for some operations, and normal map generation modes. In Ice Cream Man, the ice cream, which has been forgotten and abandoned to its fate, comes to life and tries to go to the refrigerator. Build and Grow is a minimalistic puzzle city builder with calm gameplay and atmosphere. Shoot, dash, and jetpack for your life to escape the Guardian of the Abyss while taking the Orb of Knowledge with you in this mix of casual and arcade gameplay in Escape from the Cosmic Abyss. 
By the way, if you haven't already, go follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash codingkaiju. I mostly livestream game development. If you want something chill to put on in the background, or you want to hang out and talk shop, come drop by and say hi. That's all for you this week. Like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.